Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Susan Bradley Bortfield, creator and founder of Partners at Play and Soul Speakers Global. I'm so excited to have an amazing guest today for my Soul Speaker series, Joanna Gamez. Um, Joanna is a transformational coach who specializes in helping people identify and shift the mental emotional patterns that are interfering with their ability to heal and thrive in their minds, bodies, and relationships. Despite all the expert advice, they may have already be putting into practice in these areas using the same principles and practices she now teaches others joanna was able to create thriving health from a life-threatening battle with lyme disease and mold toxicity transform her turbulent marriage into a peaceful one and heal her painful relationship with her mother she is a certified law of attraction life coach and has studied natural health and also holds a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from the University of Notre Dame and has over 15 years experience as a highly successful engineer and operations manager in the aerospace industry. Her unique and practical blending of quantum science, spiritual principles, and intuition make her an effective emotional engineer who compassionately guides others back to clarity, wholeness, and thriving. Welcome, Joanna. I'm so happy that you're here today. Thank you for saying yes to playing with me. And I just want to mention that it's, it was really important for me to have you on the show because you truly are a soul speaker. So often I hear you say, don't make yourself wrong, right? So I, I know that you see people beyond their physical beingness, right? And you really do see the essence of their truth. So I, I'm so grateful that you're here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. So where to begin? Where to begin? I think um, I, if it's okay with you, I would really like to begin on how you came to understand relationships between people and yourself the way that you do. It's very unique how you have this understanding. Well, how did I come to understand? Well, I, you know, I spent 20 years trying to heal my, myself and my relationship with my mom and made some progress, but given the effort that I had put into it, I didn't get very far. And actually, the way I came about it was very, very interesting. I, like, almost four years ago, I found myself very, very sick um, with Lyme disease. And I went to Florida to a, a, a clinic for treatment, <clears throat> and it opened up a whole new world for me because... I realized I, I was able to, I needed to go to this place uh, to hear this doctor's explanation of the physiology of what was going on um, because it allowed me to see my mother in a different light. Um, and I realized that what was going on with me had also been going on with her most of her life to a much more severe degree, which explained a lot of the problems that she had and how she could be the most wonderful person on earth and then in the next breath just like completely dr jekyll <clears throat> mr hyde you know it was very very difficult um to hear i love you you're my life and then i wish you were never born in the next breath and so it, it shed this light for me that that just kind of just i don't know the, all the lights went on all the puzzle pieces fit together and i just got this new perspective and this new view and and it, and it wasn't instantaneous there it was a process um but actually, you know, the biggest part came when I was very, very sick and I was concerned that I might die. I was in the middle of treatment and I went to get acupuncture because I was very concerned uh, at how sick I was. And I actually had an out-of-body experience that was very transformative for me, but it, it, it really lifted me, I, I want to say lifted me up energetically to the point where I could get the whole view 
you know, of the greater purpose of this and what I realized in that and was given the essence of feeling that there's a part of me that couldn't be hurt and the same goes with my mother. And so it was time to stop blaming her and also feeling guilty and realizing that both of us were whole and there was a greater lesson here for both of us or greater purpose, right? And what I realized was that I had been so angry with her and rejecting her that I, I was doing that to myself, you know, because I was a lot like her. And because I couldn't accept who she was, I couldn't accept myself. And so I realized this was really about me because everything in life, I don't care if it's our finances or our health or our relationships or our jobs, you, you know, natural disasters, you name it. Like everything that happens is a reflection of something we have going on within us. It's just a matter of whether we're ready to, to look at that. And, and we're not always ready and that's okay. But that's really how I, I came to this understanding and, uh, and yeah, it was just, it was just everything opened up and I realized that it was time to just take care of myself and, and love myself and, and also love her and stop making her wrong and seeing the gifts um, in the contrast of that relationship. And, and once I was willing to open up to that, it was amazing the things that presented themselves and, and the change in the dynamic in the energy between her and I was astonishing it, yeah it, yeah yes it, it was beautiful to witness um the transformation that you experienced with the relationship with your mom and um so so we have that in common right we were both very sick and then all of a sudden well like you said it was a process but we came to understand that nothing outside of ourselves matters, right? So that's why you call your business Thrive From Within because you understand that everything that is happening on, in your outer world begins within you. So do you want to just um, dive a little deeper into that? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's an, it's an interesting topic, <laughs> um, and not one that is easy to digest for a lot of people, and that's okay, because uh, first of all, I want to say my approach isn't for everybody. Um, it's, it's for people who have been <laughs> trying and trying and doing and doing and, and taking action for so long and not getting the results they want, right? And finally realize, you know what, it, it, it's, it's here, it's in here, I got to go in here, right? Um, and the power there is amazing because when you realize on how you've given your power away slowly and repeatedly over the years to other people, to situations, to conditions, you know, to, to medical labels, to um, everything. And, and every time something happens and you don't like it and, and you refuse to feel your emotions, you're, you're giving your power away in that situation um, and resisting it and pushing it against. And what I learned was I was pushing against everything in my life because <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> you know, I was always a rebel and I always, what was, no, you can't make me do something, you know, but, but that resistance was really causing me a lot of angst and I didn't realize it until I had no energy left to even in my mind push against anything, right? And, and once I deliberately you know, as I was forced to do that, I started noticing, wait a minute, things are shifting and resolving themselves much easier if I'm not pushing against, right? So then I started deliberately doing that. And um, it, it was unmistakable, you know, the correlation between the two things, right? And just, yeah. Yes, I could talk. I could talk for like three days on this, so I don't want. I don't want to keep going because I'm afraid I won't stop. <laughs> well, um, I know that you know. Sometimes I'll refer to you as a relationship co coach, but you're really about the relationship of self, right? Yes, and you yes. can 
you you understand now that when you are on basically your deathbed, right? When you are facing your own immortality, that it you you came to understand this really had a lot to do with your relationship with your mother. So do you want to connect that relationship with your mother to your health? I know you always say you can no longer separate, right? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, in, in a nutshell, I was resentful. I was full of resentment, like full of resentment and, and rightly so, you know, there's a lot of bad stuff that went down between the two of us, like really bad, you know, um, I don't call it bad anymore, but at the time it was horrible, you know, and for both of us, not just me, you know, this is, there's two sides to this and, and in no way do I want to disrespect my mother and, and, and I, I won't, but i just want to make sure I put that out there for everyone. Um, but I was just resentful and, and that resentment is what was poisoning me. And, and it, it was no um, coincidence that what was happening with my body was I had this buildup of, of toxicity in my body um, from black, uh, from trichothecene, which is a gas emitted by black mold, as well as a lot of other industrial toxins that we're all exposed to every day, you know? Um, and I was, <laughs> I was told that, you know, it's my genes. I, I can't detox properly. And I'm pretty much, you know, you know, sentenced to this for the rest of my life. And, Okay, well, I know genes aren't fixed, so I, I, my agreement with myself was I have this wonderful doctor who's going to really help my body, and then I'm going to work on me so this doesn't happen again, right? And so it's not a coincidence that I had all these physical toxins building up because over my life I had been taking on all these energetic toxins, right? Um, because in my family, my, you know, my mom was sick. She had a lot of problems. She had Lyme disease. She had... She had mold toxicity. She had industrial toxicity. She, she was around a lot of chemicals in her job. And, and so it makes sense what was going on with her. And, um, and she was very unstable and, and, you know, wasn't necessarily getting treated for all of these things. And so the family dynamic was very chaotic. And every time mom had a breakdown, which was quite often, I was blamed for it. And I, I was the family scapegoat. And I was the one that was told that you set your mom off it's your fault go apologize <laughs> right so so it's no coincidence right that having lived like that and feeling that I was bad and feeling that I was wrong and feeling that I was causing this situation that was so painful for me and everybody in my family was an awful thing so it not only was it resenting her in that situation but it was also feeling so bad about myself that of course if I didn't address that, it would just get bigger and bigger and bigger until my body was completely overwhelmed with all of these things, you know? So, which was a good thing because it made me realize that I didn't have to worry so much about what was going on with my body. I knew that if I did my inner work, the body would release what it needed to release. And it did, yes, you know, miracle. you are yeah. a miracle, right? Um, well, we all are in, in our own ways. <laughs> yes. But your healing was really, um, a miracle and it, it happened from you healing yourself right within yeah. and yeah. That, right because you agree and I agree that at all of our experiences everything the good the bad all of it we take it on we take it on and we wear it right so right, when right. we don't process our emotions when we don't take care of our inner being it has to manifest. It has to manifest in some way. And yeah. The relationship between your relationships and your health. So I have a family member that, you know, she's been married a long time and it's a volatile relationship. And she was never treated with respect. She was always treated badly. And she's had breast cancer and she's had, she has fibromyalgia and she has all, she had a stroke. She had brain aneurysm. She had everything under the sun. And it's because, you know, I really believe it's from her allowing herself to be treated so badly her whole life. And well, not right. And also not treating herself well, because that's what I, I, you know, that was the other distinction for me, because that's why I was so angry with my mother, because she was awful to me in many ways. And, but what I, but what really was the thing that allowed me to set myself free was realizing that 
while she had done that, th that happened a long time ago, but I was still doing that exact same thing to myself in my mind. I was always making myself wrong. I was always being mean to myself. I was always verbally abusing myself in my own mind. That was me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I may have learned it from her, but, but that was me, you know, and it, and it was being willing to own that and then being willing to do the things to shift that within myself, to learn to be kind to myself, to learn to meet my own needs instead of expecting my mother to do it or expecting my husband to do it. You know, because I had spent a lot of my life just expecting other people to be different so that they could calm me down. <laughs> and it's not their job. <laughs> you know, it's not my job to calm anyone else down. And it's nobody else's job to calm me down. It's my job. <laughs> you know. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, when we expect other people to fill our cup, to give us our self-worth, to make us feel good or to make us feel happy, what happens when they take it away, right? Yeah, we fall apart. You fall apart. Or go nuts or do something we regret or, yeah. Right? So yeah. when we, it, it's very important. I think the message that's coming so strongly over these last several years is that we must fill our own cup, right? We must give ourselves the love that we think we're missing. We yes. must. Right. So when we can give that to ourselves, it doesn't matter what's happening out there. Right? No, it, it doesn't. And the best part of it, though, is once we're consistently doing that for ourselves, we will meet it everywhere we go. Or we will meet it a lot more often in other people than we ever did when we were trying to get it from them. Isn't that the truth? I mean, I can't, I, need, I can't even explain what happened with my mom and I, <laughs> you know, um, like it, cause there was nothing but love coming from it. When I would interact with her for the last year, year and a half, two years of her life, it, there was just, there was never any tension between us, which was unimaginable for most of my life, you know, cause there was always angst, but I, but that trigger within me wasn't always there. So when it was not there, she could meet me in her good place, you know? So I stopped kind of feeding that that ick within her and so she wouldn't show it to me and, and that's the really interesting part was to see the change in someone else even though they may not have been actively trying to change right but just because I was so different right so re I want to go there because this is such an important part of your journey and such an important um, point to make of of the power of you as a coach in the understanding, right? So when you stopped blaming your mother, when you stopped looking for your mother to fill that void within you, miracles happened. Do you want to, do you want to share? Well, yeah. I mean, I, my body recovered. I mean, I was really, really sick. Um, after I got home from treatment, I was sicker than I was when I was there. And it was honestly scarier after I got home than, one, than it was when I was actively being treated by the doctor. Um, but, you know, it was just a matter of taking care of myself, going within, meeting my needs. And, and, um, and also, you know, really facing my mortality and connecting with the part of myself that is eternal and allowing that to lead me. Right. And once I was con consistently connecting with that, I got better fast, like fast. It was, it was really a beautiful thing. Um, but it also really allowed me to completely change my marriage with my husband. You know, we, we had always fought a lot, mostly because I was always triggered. <laughs> and then my, when I was triggered, it would set off his triggers. And it was just like this, you know, it was just, it was, it was bad. And, um, and, you know, it allowed me to notice, you know, when I was triggered, I, I knew what to do and I knew how to go take care of myself instead of the situation between the two of us escalating, right, or, and making, insisting that he be different or defending myself or, or whatnot. I would, I would just go tend to myself and I also wouldn't make him wrong because he's entitled to his experience and, and whatever he's going through, right, because we're co-creating together, but we're both autonomous beings and so I just went to be my autonomous self and let him be himself. And then when I felt better, we'd come back together. And if we needed to discuss it, we would. But usually the things would just resolve themselves because I shifted my energy. I did my work inside. And 
um, yeah, and, and then I also I also became a coach, and so you know my my career is changing, and um, it, it was just pretty amazing. So so what what happened in particular with you and your mother, like because she has passed now, but in the um, in the months leading oh, up, in the months leading up, yeah, that was that was an interesting thing. So. Um, it was uh, in February, at the end of February 2017, um, my mom had a really scary situation. They, they had to take her to a hospital a couple hours away by ambulance to, to take the fluid out from around her heart. Um, and uh, at that point, after that was over, we had to put her in a nursing home uh, because she was in end-stage cancer. She had breast cancer and then lung cancer for 11 years. Uh, which is pretty amazing because most people don't live with those things that long. But my mom was an amazing woman and she never met anybody with more spunk than her and myself included that I got it from her, but she was the queen. Um, but anyway, uh, so we, we had to put her in the nursing home and I have three siblings and my, my parents live in northern upper Michigan and the rest of us are spread all over the country. And, you know, she's, she stayed with us until the end of June. And, and so our whole family one of the kids was always there with my parents and he, that could be a very difficult situation for most families, but um, it was honestly the completely opposite. You know, we, everybody worked in harmony and my mom, like when I had time with her, it was just, it was amazing. And, and several times, you know, she still tried to apologize to me and, and it was so powerful to, to be able to look, look her in the face, you know, and just say to her, mom, there's nothing to apologize for. And I, and I honestly meant it. Um, and because what I realized was that just that experience with her really helped me zero in on what I needed to do to take my power back, right? And to, to be who I really am, to be the love, to be the kindness, to be the the autonomous person that I am and that we all are, right? And and she gave me that gift because you don't become a master at something by, you know, with easy opponents. And, and not that she was my opponent, right? But we all need someone to dance with that's going to challenge us. And she challenged me to my core, <laughs> you know, but but I saw the gift in it. And so to, you know, to be able to tell her that and, and to see her receive it, you know, and, and she got it and, and I just, you know, there were no words at that point. And, and I put my hand on my heart and then I put my hand on her heart and she put her hand on top of mine and she said one heart. And then there's like, you know, boom, this explosion of, you know, soul love. And my sister was there and she saw it and she ran out of the room crying. And mom and I were just looking at each other with, with smiles on our faces and just, you know, our eyes locked on each other. It was this really powerful moment. And, and we had a lot of moments like that, you know, in the months coming and, um, and it was beautiful. And, and, you know, and you helped with that, Susan, you were coaching. Uh, I was actively being coached by you at the time and it really helped. It was like that last 2%, you know, I had gotten myself 98% of the way there. And, uh, you know, that last 2% was, was huge. And so I, I thank you for you helping. Know, I get teary every time you talk about your mom, right? Because, you know, just by you, fully accepting yourself and fully right. loving who you are, you took that energy and you took that vibration and it spread because growing up, you admittedly said, you know, you were like the black sheep. <laughs> you were blamed for all the family drama, whether yeah. you were there or not. <laughs> right. Right. So, but once you stop looking outside of yourself for approval, when you stop looking outside of yourself to blame, and when you stop blaming yourself and making yeah. yourself wrong and yes. just fully accepting who you are, yeah. it, it's like everything healed. Just right. everything healed, right? Because yeah. there was no there was no trigger to 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 grow from. There was yeah. nothing nothing but love. Yes. And it's uh, such an amazing thing. And it's so true, you know, like, and, and we all in this world, we all think that we need to, we, 
need to be kinder to each other, which we do, I agree, but I don't think that the easiest way to go about that is trying to be kind to other people. I, I think that it really starts with learning to be kind to ourselves because when you really know how to do that, when you really know how to love yourself and be present with yourself and not make yourself wrong and be compassionate, then you actually have that to give other people easily, effortlessly. You know, with, without, without drama, without angst, it just, it just comes naturally. And this is so important. And this is why it was so important for me to interview you because, because we were brought up in many cases, we were brought up to not even consider ourselves. Yes. We were never, you know, you do this, you grow up, you be good to everybody, you play nice, you take care of your husband, you take care of your family, you be a good employee, da, 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 da. you go to college, right? But nobody said, what do you want? Right. Right? What, how are you feeling? Like, how are you really feeling today? Right? And we never, I know when I became red it was it was due to never, like, giving myself that love. I never gave my body love. I resented it for breaking down on me. I mm-hmm. never even considered, hey, yeah. if I give myself some love, my body will heal. And it really is that simple. It is. Yeah. It all just happens within. So that's why it was so important for me to have you on because you are such a leader in understanding the the relationships the relationship that begins within right thrive from within and when you can do that all the relationships around you will either heal or fall away if they're not meant to be right and isn't that amazing it's wonderful <laughs> I want to stay here for a second because I want people to get that. It's like you create your reality by by doing the work within. It all starts within. And when you are in alignment and when you give yourself love, everything around you receives. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so much less work that way I mean you and I both right and and I can say it people who've known me my whole life know this or people who've worked with me for the last 15 years know I used to be a huge control freak and a huge go-getter and I you know I still have those qualities but they don't they used to be like running out of control and not anymore I turn them on if I want to and but I usually don't because before I used to think I had to do it all you know, because like I didn't trust life. I didn't think I lived in a friendly universe. I didn't, you know, I just, every, life was out to get me or there, you know, I had to be better than everybody else. But really that was my own inadequacy, right? right. Um, but once you realize that if you just take care of yourself inside, you don't have to work as hard because there are forces in the universe that are working for you. But we have turned our valves off for whatever reasons, Right. And once we learn to turn that valve back on, it's like, okay, you know, now you have all this hydro, you know, all this moving water to, you know, for your dam to generate your electricity. It's the same thing with human energy, right? With thought and emotional energy, same thing. Um, and, and it can happen once you do, right? So any relation, all relationships can be healed, right? Yeah. So, um, and and your whole family has come together and they're so much stronger, all of you together, right? This is, this is why I always get teary when we connect and talk about this because I saw the, the beautiful unfolding of this amazing healing, beautiful relationship unfold with all of your siblings with your dad with your mom with yourself right so and i know your clients receive results like that it's fast it is 
it is almost freaky fast sometimes, but not, you know, not always, but other times, you know, it just depends on the person and where they're at and what they're ready for, you right. know, cause we're, we're all in charge of our own valve. Right. right. So if you're frustrated in a relationship with your mom or your dad or your siblings or your children or your boss you or know, your spouse, <laughs> or your spouse, yeah, that's a big one or yeah. your spouse things can shift really fast. Connect with Joanna. This is her magic. This is what she does. And she really does help clients not transform things for the short term, but this is like lifelong transformation that can happen in a short period of time, most of the time, right? So Mm -hmm. So you offer like a complimentary session to see if, you know, if you can assist someone in achieving those balanced, healthy, you know, healthy relationship first with self and first with your body. So um, I know you can no longer separate um, health from relationships, right? It's a combo. So maybe you have allergies, maybe you're sick all the time, maybe you have low energy, maybe it's beyond that, right? But it's all connected. It's all connected. And Joanna really helps her clients understand that connection and make the shift so that healing can take place first within and then without. So, yes. So... Is there anything you want to add? Mm. Well, yeah. Um, well, you said it perfectly. I couldn't have said it better. So thank you for that. I, I really appreciate that. Um, and the thing I want to leave people with is to just ponder this for a minute. All of your challenges in your life, they're not tests. They're not judgments of your, your goodness. They're not punishments. They're, they're nothing of the sort. And, and our culture teaches us to think that way, right? If we're having marital problems or if we're having health problems or if we're having financial problems, whatever it is. And, and as soon as it shows up in our life, we're like, no, I don't want this. And then we immediately make ourselves wrong, right? And so I invite you to just be, be willing to think about your challenges in a different light and be willing to look at them as opportunities as your soul calling you back home to who you really are. And they're, they're pathways to get back in touch with who you really are in a way that you wouldn't have had access to if these things wouldn't have happened. Right. Yeah. And just try that on and see how that feels. Cause I know it'll feel better than thinking that something's gone wrong or that you're, you're bad or you screwed up or, you know, it, it just, they are, they are calls back home to who you really are and, and in a way that you haven't even connected with yet. Right. And, and if you can, if you can be open to that and receive that and, and approach it from that perspective, that will make all the difference. Yeah. Beautiful. Because I, I do want to, um, I do want to say like you thought you hated your mom. Like, Oh, you I, had, I did. You ha- I mean, like this was like a relationship that wasn't a little fractured. It was like, oh. it was so bad. It was, just, oh. couldn't even be in the same room together. Right? Well, yeah. Or it couldn't be in the same room very long or, you know, um, yeah. I mean, a lot of my life, especially when I got divorced from my first husband, the, my mom and I really had a big blowout that, you know, I didn't talk to her for a couple of years after that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there were, there were, there were times when I wanted her dead just because I wanted her out of my life. And that's a terrible thing to even hear myself say, but, but I just want people to know that I'm not just making this up. And, it, you know, like I really, it was really bad. And, and really, when you really hate somebody, it's, it's what it is, is rejection of love for that person. <laughs> and, and, and not necessarily that person in their physical form, but that soul. Right. Because a lot of times, sometimes things that happen in this plane are awful and deplorable and, you know, but, and that's what happened was once I stopped rejecting 
that love that I had for her. Cause, cause there was always never a question about the love we had for each other, but there was just all the, the other stuff that got in the way. Right. But you, you literally did want her dead. So to go from that to, you know, to feeling nothing but love with mm -hmm. your mom and have that reciprocated and to just be at complete peace. I, I thought it was important to let people know to the severity. Oh, so yeah. They can see what is possible. So if you, um, if you in the audience watching this interview, if you have that type of relationship with anyone in your life, know there's hope. Know there's hope. And this can heal. It can truly yeah. heal. Um, Joanna has proven that and she understands at a soul level what it takes to help you get there so if you have any um, you know issues in your relationships I highly recommend Joanna more than anyone else um, as a relationship coach so connect with her yes say yes so I, I'm just so grateful to you and the link to your schedule for people to connect with you is um, connected with this video and you know um, yeah just say yes and and heal those relationships for 2019 you'll be so glad you did and thank you thank you Joanna I love you with all my heart you know that and I love you too thank you Susan you know I'm glad that I didn't totally bawl my eyes out I got a little teary <laughs> well that's good if it means my my I connected that's yeah. that's the whole point is is yeah. connected so so much love to everyone and here's to an amazing 2019 where you understand you are whole, perfect, and complete, and you are worth it. So give yourself the love you so deserve. And thank you. Bye for now. Bye.